friends and welcome back to the channel with me Justin the Red Island Shaver and I am very 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 excited uh, to be back on camera here and um, as you can tell got no glasses on and we'll get into that as we get into the shave but uh, going with my favorite today kink and yes I can actually tell that this label is right side up uh, crazy 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 ah, gorgeous gorgeous stink on the kink it is a uh, coffee, bourbon, dirt, leather, vetiver. Oh God, it's so good. So, so good. So the brush we are using today is the big monster Massetto 30 millimeter three band silver tip badger. And we are just gonna get in here and uh, lather it up. So yes, no glasses. If you guys can believe that, that, that I, I i know i'm still coming to terms with it myself now granted i will need glasses as it stands right now i have to wear my old ones to read or watch videos in perfect clarity but i have to hold my phone like like right here because my old prescription just doesn't work anymore um doesn't work for distance it doesn't work for uh well for reading at a normal you know, reading distance. Um, and you may be scratching your head and going, but didn't you need glasses after the other surgeries? And yes, I did. My eye, eye was super blurry after the vitrectomies because that's a very invasive surgery and they're putting your retina back in place. And plus you still have your, your old lens in your eye, right? The lens that you were born with. So if you're unfamiliar with, with a cataract procedure, what they do is they remove your old lens because your your lens you were born with because there's a lens in your eye um, is what gets all jacked up so when I went for the surgery on Monday so this isn't even a week I'm not even a week into recovery here um, when I went on uh, Monday the very first appointment at the hospital was a uh, eye measurement so they measure they take a picture of your eye and they measure it and uh, then the surgeon determines what interocular lens they're going to implant in your eye, which has some magnification in it. So there is some level of vision correction built into the new implant. So right now my vision to see around the house, I don't need my glasses to see around the house. I don't need my glasses to see to make a pot of coffee, to see my wife's face, to see my kids' faces. I don't need glasses to do any of that now. Now granted, things are still a little bit blurry. My eyesight is about, oh, I'd say about 90% there. So I will need some magnification. So once everything heals, I will need to get new glasses, new bifocals for distance. And, uh, and then for reading. But as long as the retinopathy stays at bay, Boys, oh boys, we are off to the races because uh, I can actually see what the fuck I'm doing right now for the first time in a year. So, yeah, I can see the peaks building on my face. I can see that ladder. Same difficulties I had before, of course. Um, I only have one eye, so this side of my face can't see the greatest. But I can see where everything pretty much is. And I'm loving life right now. <laughs> yeah. Loving life. That definitely cured my depression all in one fell swoop. So I'm not going with a straight razor today. I could. I could see well enough to use one. Um, but I'm still healing. I don't want to do any skin stretching over here. Because no, the eye is still healing. It's a little... Uh, well, you can probably tell it's a little jacked up. So, uh, but yeah, healing is going great. Uh, not too much discomfort. Taking a bajillion eye drops a day. And, uh, and this just blows my mind. So I'm going with the Carve Christopher Bradley in aluminium with the uh, C plate. Um, this is my shaving towel. So as you can see, you can, you can see that there. Well, for the longest time, this was just, this disappeared in the towel when I set it down. I had to go hunting for it. Now I can see that it's sitting there. <laughs> I'm telling you. 
telling you, this is the best Christmas present ever. So, we'll get into it. Um, this is a Voss cod in here, I think. On uh, two days of growth, sea plate, 0.85 millimeter blade gap, 0 0.09 millimeters positive blade exposure, four inch handle, Losing my lather. Um, four inch handle, always in at a whopping 40 grams. Very nimble little shaver though. I like it. I really like being able to see what I'm doing too. So uh, thanks to everybody uh, who reached out, mentioned me in their videos. DK, Jim Combs at uh, Jimco. I am CDB, uh, Shave326, I hope I'm not missing anybody, but my memory is short, so thank you all very much, I do appreciate it, uh, the community is a great community indeed, I'm very happy to be part of it, um, you know, I fought to stay in the community through everything, and uh, you know, I'm glad I did. And yeah, <laughs> enjoying a shave of one of my favorite soaps, enjoying seeing what I am doing. Uh, I'm not going to put music in this video today. I do have music ready to go. I'll do that uh, next weekend. I just wanted to uh, get a video and blab. Love, love, love the scent on this soap. For me, I find it very coffee forward right off the bat. Uh, a milky coffee. And then I get, um, I get the leather right after the coffee. And then the bourbon and the vetiver rounds it out for me. Those are the scent notes that I pick up the most. Very nice. Mmm, blades getting just a little bit tuggy. I got brand new blades and the uh, other two curves. This one may be up for a new blade too. Got all my straights stropped. Well, I shouldn't say all of them. Most of them are stropped. Both the ales are stropped. Um, both my wade, well my wade and then the, uh, basically a wade that Matty sent me. Um, Plus the king cutter. I gotta get my gold dollars, my Helia strand, and uh, my other boker honed up. Or not honed, but gotta get them all stropped and get ready for them to be featured heavily in the rotation again. Definitely looking forward to that. Definitely. So, I mean, I'm still visually impaired, as it is. Uh, interesting to see what what they're going to correct my vision to, though, because I was 20 over 60 after the vitrectomies with the correction. I think I may even be able to wrangle out a little bit better than that this time around. Might be able to get, I don't know, 20 over 40, 20 over 30, maybe? It's going to be very, very interesting. Still won't be able to drive, I don't think. We were out there last night, I still really can't see at night that great, and that's not gonna change. Uh, would I be able to daytime drive? I don't know, possibly, maybe, but my field of vision is pretty small, but, but yeah, you know, I really don't care about any of that, to be honest with you, cause uh, you know, everything from my day-to-day -day life just got super, super, super easy. Um, I can pretty much see the fret dots on the side of my guitar necks now too, except for the new guitar, but that's got tiny little fret dots. I don't think, I don't even think anybody with really good eyesight could barely see those stupid things. So when I get all healed up and new glasses, I'm going to modify that. Probably get a black Sharpie and just put a dot on there, a bigger dot. And then use some nail polish to, uh, clear nail polish to go over it. 
and uh, protect the dot from wearing off. But yeah, everything so much easier now. Like cooking is gonna be a breeze again. Just doing things. I went out, we had to go to the pharmacy to pay a bill. I actually went in to pay the bill and I could see to walk around. I just used my white cane like a walking stick instead of having to use it out in front of me to find things for the first time in a year. So I tell you, you know, it's something we really, really, really take for granted is your eyesight. But don't you know how important it is until you have problems with it shave is going very very nice I had a just a private shave the other day and uh, I can barely contain my glee yeah that'll do that's good enough for me all right, the final rinse, and then the post. I try not to bend over too much. So I'm on restrictions. I can't really cook right now. So you gotta take it easy, right? So no cooking, no lifting, really. No bending. That's the big one. Don't put any pressure on your eye by bending over. So you know, I'm off martial arts for at least six weeks. That being said, when I get back, I'll actually be able to see what I'm doing, which is very exciting because I could just barely see what I was doing before. Now I'll really be able to see what I'm doing. So very excited for that. Very excited for a lot of things. Just basically, I have my life back that I had before the cataract. So I had a whole year of my life kind of taken away by that stupid thing, but whatever. I guess it is what it is. It's gone now. So now we don't focus on that, we uh, focus on the future. Which is uh, just trying to be a decent human being and writing some good music. Hanging out with you people. Well, that's what I'm going to concentrate on. So we're going to go with the, the matching juice. Oh, yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Definitely very milk forward on the uh, splash for me. That's what I get is the milk. And then the dirt. Oh yeah, there's tonka bean in this too. I keep forgetting the tonka bean. That's, I think, that's where some of the vanilla scent comes through with the kind of the milky coffee. All right, gang, so that is the shave. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel, supporting me. I do appreciate it. Um, you know, only missed one video during all this. That was the Wednesday video. So, you know me, I don't like to, uh, I don't like to sit around and not, uh, not be out there putting up content when I can. So, jump right back in. That's all you can do, right? Plus, I'm used to really not being able to see. So, having slightly blurry vision, piece of cake. So, anyway, guys, that's it until uh, the next one. It'll be a midweek video, another story time. And, uh... We're just going to get right back into the swing thing. So that's it for me for today. Uh, so everybody, uh, be safe. Be kind to one another. Most importantly, have a great day and even better shave. We're going to catch you in the next one. Peace and I love yous. Ciao.